Hi there, this is Thumper with Blue Collar Builders. We're here in San Francisco at the North American Intersolar Conference. Finally made it to the uh, Snapping Rack uh, booth, and this is Brandon. So he's going to take it away from here and explain to us the features. Thank you. Uh, what we're showing off here is our Series 100 residential roof mount system. Uh, it's a UL listed system which integrates grounding components into the entire system, eliminates all of the need for extra components like weaves and bonding jumpers, really helps to make the installation easier and more efficient. Our whole premise is getting installers on and off the roof as fast as possible. The main value in our, in our installation is coming from our UL listed system. Uh, we've estimated that to be one man hour per kilowatt of install. Um, so over the course of a year, there's really some significant labor savings for an installer. Also what we're showing here is just a multitude of different roof attachment options. You can see we've got options for comp shingle, clay tile, and metal roof options. Some of the other features that Snap and Rack integrates into the racking system are our integrated wire management. Therefore, there's no need to use any wire clips or zip ties to manage the wires. It really helps to protect the life of the system as well as enhance the aesthetics of the system while at the same time reducing some labor. So Snap and Rack's whole premise is uh, our Snap in hardware. Uh, it allows you to snap in hardware at the point of attachment uh, with the use of our unique channel nut and rail profile. You can snap hardware in at the point of attachment or snap it out if you need to remove it. Uh, with a single half inch socket, you can install the entire system. That's everything from our flash L feet, our mids and our ends, our splices. Uh, once again, really trying to make the installation as easy as possible. Um, it's always easier for installers on a roof to carry less tools, so with a half inch socket, they can uh, install the entire system. And having the integrated uh, wiring channel here not only makes the job look better, but it's a lot safer. Uh, we have not one, but two uh, wire channels. Uh, so if installers are also installing microinverters, they can uh, use the top channel for or their main home runs and AC wiring and the side channel for their trunk cables uh, and any other wires that they need to manage back there. Our grounding connection is unique, is the only grounding component needed to ground the entire system. It snaps into place and it can be installed multi-directional. Um, it's a really unique feature. We offer a top-down adjustable end clamp but we also offer this universal end clamp. It fits any size module on the market and it really helps to enhance the aesthetics. Here at the back end, how you get this flush cut rail. Right. That way it hides the clamp and the extra rail from uh, the end of the module it really helps to enhance the aesthetics as well. It uh, certainly helps to uh, reduce the amount of rail waste on a system. It's uh, one of the things that we tout when we're selling snap and rack versus another racking product. Um, and in addition to that, the enhanced aesthetics that come along with it is something that homeowners really love about our product. You know, we're all about making the array uh, as compact as possible, utilizing as much roof space as you have to maximize the output of the system, and the universal end clamp helps us do that. A lot of customers are going to be uh, cautious about the penetration on the roof. Is there anything significant about your flashing that they should know about? Um, so our flashing is a uh, flashing that is made by Snap and Rack for our product. It's not a third party flashing. Uh, it's a full metal flashing, so it doesn't utilize any rubber washers or grommets that tend to fail over time when they're exposed to UV rays. Uh, with our system, it's going to maintain a watertight seal for the life of not only the uh, solar system, but the roof. So 10, 15, 20 years down the, uh, down the road, it's still going to be watertight and you're not going to have to worry about coming back and, and providing maintenance on that system. Uh, you'll notice that the flashing is a full piece of stamped metal. There's one penetration that's underneath here that installs with a 5 16 lag bolt. Once you have the base in place, you'll just use a breaker bar to lift the shingle above to slide your flashing underneath. That's going to flash the penetration and then you can attach your L foot directly to the top of the base and start running your rail as you would with any other flashing. Uh, the main thing to point out is that there's no rubber components uh, in the system. It's a full metal flashing, more traditional to a, a, a roofer's flashing than some of the other solar flashings. Our metal roof components are something we're really proud of. Uh, we've got uh, several different attachment options, everything from our standing seam clamps to our metal roof base and our corrugated roof block. Uh, for your standing seams, we have two different profiles that can fit virtually any metal roof panel on the system, uh, on the market. Uh, if you're installing on a corrugated roof or a screw down roof, we offer our MRB. Uh, that's a metal roof base. It's a self-sealing uh, installation. It's a two-part system that has an EPDM rubber washer on the bottom side. That's used as a compression seal so that when you fasten your lag bolt or tech screw into the 
roof. It's going to seal itself without the use of any roofing sealant or anything like that. From there, you would just screw on your, your cap and then run your L foot on top and start running a rail-based system as you would with any other penetration. Thanks a lot, Brandon. Absolutely. Smile for the camera. Thanks, <laughs> hey, at the Snap and Rack booth, uh, thank you for joining us here. You saw the future uh, tomorrow today. Uh, I'm Thumper with Blue Collar Builders, and uh, check us out at the next booth.